Holy Jack, way to go. What did you do? More to the point, Jack. What did you do? <laughs> wait, wait, what? Welcome back, super friends and super family. I am Thor, your friendly neighborhood god of thunder. Today I'm reacting to Rise of the Guardians, so I'm very excited to check out this animation. I believe it's DreamWorks, but I don't really know. This is another one of those animations that has been almost completely off my radar, so I don't know really what to expect or what we're in store for. I think Chris Pine is the voice actor for the main character, and based off, I, I've seen a poster and based off that and the title, I'm assuming it's about superheroes or a group of heroes, an Avengers type friend group fighting forces of evil. That's what I've been able to put together, but I really don't know. I haven't seen a trailer, so I'm excited to go in blank to this film. As always, if you want to see the full unedited reaction to this movie, it's out on Patreon. If you want to see next week's animation reaction, it's also out right now for early access. Thank you to everyone for watching along. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you do want to see more animation reactions or Buffy or classic movies, any of those things coming out soon. Let's just get right into the movie, Rise of the Guardians. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Well, definitely DreamWorks. This is a nice little stylish way to tie it into the movie. Is this going to be like a Frozen prequel? Are we going to have some ice snow powers? That would be interesting. Darkness. Yeah, that's Chris that's Pine. The first thing I remember. It was cold. And I was scared. Dang. All right. It seemed to chase the darkness away. Is he just floating on his own? I wasn't scared anymore. Is the moon his power like the light of the sun with Superman? I and mean, I love the animation so far. Just the details and the lighting with the silver. Really cool. I mean, that is gorgeous. Heck, you can have an art career and save the world with these powers. All right, we're putting this scene up against Let It Go. Which one's better? Can you tell me where I am? <gasps> what the heck? Is he a ghost? Hello? My name is Jack Frost. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. And that was a long, long time ago. <laughs> okay, I like that. I like the way they revealed that. Dang, what an opening to a movie. I'm excited. <sighs> Talk about a time jump. Man. <laughs> Still waiting for the cookies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I love this version of Santa already. Tell me he's going to be a main character. Finally. Oh, that's gross. How many times have I told you to not? What? The glow? <laughs> he understood it perfectly. What is this? I have the same exact question. That looks like a global threat. Okay, what? You're going to have company. Who is it? Santa, who do you know that it is? Okay, they're using the northern lights to send out a signal. That is pretty amazing. <laughs> That's not how I expected the Tooth Fairy to look. Oh, she's got a bunch of workers. Good, she's outsourced some of the labor. I was going to say, for one Tooth Fairy, that's a lot of work. Ever seen a more adorable lateral incisor in all of your life? Look how she flossed! <laughs> I can understand why they appreciate the people who floss. It is our job to watch over the children of the world and keep them safe to bring wonder, hope, and dreams. Is that the Sandman? Like the guy who puts you to sleep, Sandman? Children are in danger. Who's the enemy? I'm trying to think of like a mythical force who would fit in this world. Oh, it's freezing. Yeah, you need a jacket. Anyone? 
I'll take some cookies and some eggnog, Santa. Thank you. I have called you all here unless it was serious. The boogeyman was here. <laughs> the boogeyman? <laughs> How appropriate. I thought you said you saw pitch. Well, uh, not exactly. It's up to something very bad. I think Santa's right. Come on. Wait, if I did this to you three days before Christmas... Please, Bunny, Easter is not Christmas. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I mean, I have to agree with Santa, but I can understand where the Easter Bunny is coming from. Rabbit's always so nervous. Why are you always such a blowhard? Is that all in one house? Can't you see we're trying to argue? I love the design of the Tooth Fairy. That is not what I would have expected, but it looked awesome. <laughs> the poor elf. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. I wonder who it's gonna be. Maybe the leprechaun? Please not the grand oh, please not the grand. <laughs> Jack Frost. Uh, I take it back. The groundhog's fine. I would take the groundhog only if he's voiced by Bill Murray. Jack Frost is many things, but he is not a guardian. Is he worthy of the Avengers team? I think Jack Frost could do okay. <laughs> Okay, so maybe he has a little bit of that Loki mischievousness about him. I mean, he looks like he has a lot of fun. He looks like he's a cool guy to hang out with. The Easter Bunny is real. Oh, he's real, all right. Real annoying, real grumpy, and really full of himself. <laughs> I like how there's some tensions between the different guardians based off their role or their holiday. We don't want Jack Frost nipping at your nose. <laughs> Who's Jack Frost? No one, honey. It's just an expression. Oof. Oof. You're not as relevant as someone like Santa, Jack. I'm sorry. Cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> Holy, a whole... Oh. Did you throw that? No. Wasn't me. <laughs> Where's the street? Oh! Don't worry, Jack. A little extra excitement. Oh my gosh! Yeah. <laughs> you let him crash, Jack. <laughs> oh, did you watch it? I mean, that did look like so much fun. Cool, a two, dude. That means. Oh, here we go. Oh no. <laughs> He's like, dang it! I didn't want company. My tooth came out. <laughs> All right, Harry. Tooth under your pillow? Yeah. How many people still do that? Is that a pretty widespread family tradition? Like putting the tooth under your pillow? I hope it. I, I remember doing that as a kid. I wonder if Jack is going to have to learn to, you know, be less concerned for getting the credit. Because he was spreading joy, like he's doing a good job, but sometimes maybe they don't always need to know where it came from. They can just, you can just appreciate their happiness for what it is. Tried everything. No one ever sees me. I feel like the Moon Man is like the, you know, the Master Yoda in this scenario. He, I would follow his wisdom. I mean, unless he doesn't say anything to him. Heck, that's interesting. It's like his prayer is unanswered. I mean, the effects and like... The colors and visuals for the powers are are great in this movie. I'm so impressed with the animation so far. <laughs> oh, I thought I heard the clippity clop of a unicorn. What an adorable dream. Who is this voice actor? I recognize this person. There's only one thing missing. A touch of fear. <laughs> <sighs> so is he going to make it a nightmare? That never gets old. All oh, this poor kid. Pretty little nightmare. <laughs> now, I want you to go tell the others the wait is over. I love the design of Pitch. He looks terrifying and like having him shot in that scene like covered in shadows. Very cool. My nightmares are finally ready. Are your guardians? I mean, the stakes are set. This movie feels like, it feels like a superhero, like it feels epic. It doesn't even feel like an animated movie in a way. Hey! Put down your yes, Put me down! What the? Uh, uh, That's how they're going to recruit him? <laughs> See you back at the pole. Oh, 
Okay, that's a pretty cool way to just jump around. Ugh, quiet. Hey, there he is. Santa's being friendly. I've heard a lot about you and your teeth. My, my what? Open up. Are they really as wide as they She wants to check him out up close. Let's not disgrace the uniform. And Sandman? Sandy? Oh, sleeping on the job. How appropriate. Anyone want to tell me why I'm here? Uh, okay, that's way too fast. I cannot follow. That's not really helping, but but thanks, little man. That's a really cool way to communicate, though. And just a cool, you know, little character difference. On naughty list, you hold the record. But no matter, we overlook. Now we... Santa is so cool. Santa might be my favorite. <laughs> what a ceremony, man. I actually think I want to be a guardian. <laughs> That's a fair point, though. I didn't even think about that. Music! No music! This is all very... <laughs> the elves are so frustrated. Ah, ah, tooth. Fingers out of mouth. Oh, sorry. <laughs> she just can't help herself. She's too excited. A man in moon. What? Last night, Jack, he chose you. Maybe. A man in the moon. Uh, he talks to you. Are they going to recruit NASA and end up going to the moon at some point in this movie? This is his answer. To spend eternity like you guys cooped up in some some hideout thinking of, of, of new ways to bribe kids? <laughs> I mean, I don't think that assessment is fair, but it's pretty funny. <laughs> you know what I think? I, I think we just dodged a bullet. I mean, what's this clown know about bringing joy to children anyway? Come on, Bunny. You can't be that much of a hater. Uh, you ever hear of a snow day? Oh, snow day is a joyous day. Bunny, enough. No, the kangaroo's right. The, the what? <laughs> what did you call me? That was good. That was good. I mean, the choice to make the Easter Bunny Australian is honestly great. People believe in me. Oh, you can tell that hurt Jack. You can see the tears in his eyes. Dang, go easy on him, man. He's a sensitive guy for all his uh, troublemaking antics. You all do. It's just, it's not my thing. Man and Moon says it is your thing. <laughs> Did Santa just throw that away without signing it? I was like the elves made the toys. We just let them believe that. <laughs> I mean, the elves contribute. They contribute, okay? <laughs> the way Santa looked at them like that. Fruitcake? Uh, no, thanks. <laughs> he just throws it. Okay. Who are you, Jack Frost? This is going to be an intense job interview. Chose you to be a guardian. You must have something very special inside. Hmm. This is how you see me, no? Very big, intimidating. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of true, it's how he looks. But not just jolly. I am also mysterious. <laughs> I hope he designed these himself. <laughs> that my center? What's it gonna be? There's a tiny wooden <laughs> Big eyes, very big, because they are full. Of wonder. I mean, that's awesome. What an awesome thing to have at your center. And especially for a Santa Claus as big and strong as this one. It is my center. What is yours? I don't know. It's okay. You can figure it out. You know, you're on the road to self-discovery. Trouble at the Tooth Palace. I wonder who the strongest of all the guardians is. Like if they had a fight or if we're going to see that in the movie. Play. Well, let's see what Rudolph looks like, man. <laughs> These are some hardcore reindeer. I want to know how fast this thing goes. One ride, but that's it. Everyone loves this sleigh. I bet this would be such a fun thing to ride in. Awesome, mate. And, um, oh, so just jump in, Bunny. Let's go. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Where, Look how relaxed Sandman is. Where the bloody seatbelts? <laughs> that was just expression. <laughs> <laughs> it's more fun with no seatbelts. It's like when you get on a roller coaster and you regret being on it. Come on, this should be a ride somewhere in a theme park. See, it can be fun being a guardian, Jack. Check out this view. Uh, well, he can kind of fly. Oh, you do care. <laughs> Tooth Palace. 
Oh, heck, with that, I mean, I don't even know if you guys needed to fly in the air. What the heck? Are those pieces of the nightmare? They're taking the two berry. Dang, are they killing them? Or they're just capturing them? Okay. Hey, little baby tooth. Oh, it looks so scared. Here, take over. <laughs> is he qualified? I mean, he looks like he's ready. All of them. Everything is gone. Everything. Aww. Is that the only one who escaped? The one that he rescued? I have to say, this is very, very exciting. I'm excited to see more of Pitch. He seems like such a cool villain. The big four. All in one place. He doesn't even acknowledge Jack. 30 seconds to return my fairies. Oh. You stick a quarter under my pillow. Maybe I'm tired of hiding under beds. Maybe that's where you belong. <sighs> Go suck an egg rabbit. Jack Frost. <laughs> Since when are you all so chummy? Hmm. Then I'm gonna ignore you, but you must be used to that by now. Ooh. I mean, I actually feel like they might be able to relate to each other in that sense. <gasps> Whoa, hey. Easy girl. Don't be nervous. It only riles them up more. They smell fear. Shh. The Dark Ages. Everyone frightened. Miserable. Such happy times for me. Oh, the he's like my glory days. Meanwhile, everyone wrote me off as just a bad dream. Oh, there's nothing to be afraid of. There's no such thing as the boogeyman. Hmm. I wonder if he was behind the horror movie industry. That sure certainly convinced some people the boogeyman is real. Children are waking up and realizing the tooth fairy never came. I mean, such a little thing, but to a child. I love that. I love that how it's all tying in and how that's his strategy. Like, it's it's just to target their hope and their children. Or Easter or little fairies that come in the night. There will be nothing but fear and darkness. And me. It's your turn not to be believed in. He's too confident. I don't think there's any way they can take him on. Okay, those are some pretty cool weaponry. <laughs> Santa's got his two swords. He's gone. No, he's not. Oh, this is a gorgeous setting. I can't get over every everything so far. The designs, the creativity, like so many of the creative choices for the aesthetic of this movie is not what I would have thought, not what I've seen before, and it's really impressive. Someone needs to remember what's important. We help them. Dang. My memories? From when you were young. Before you became Jack Frost. He doesn't remember anything. Of course you were. We were all someone before we were chosen. Wait, so were, were they like ordinary humans before they were chosen to be guardians? You have to show me. I, I can't, Jack. Pitch has them. Hey, an extra reason to, uh, to defeat Pitch. Oh, shoot, are they stopping yes, believing I... in her that quickly? Wait, 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 wait. Idea! <laughs> Come on. Come on, Santa. What? We get teeth. Children keep believing in you. We're talking seven continents and millions of kids. Oh, they can do it. They can do it. I love Santa's, like, go-getter attitude and his, like, faith in getting things done. <laughs> I'm in. It's an unconventional uh, tooth fairy work, okay? If the kids wake up in the middle of their sleep, they see Santa getting their tooth. Grace? Is it Grace? This is going to be epic! <laughs> <laughs> Don't get too excited. <laughs> Jackpot. Like <laughs> that kid, bro, bro. oh, no wonder. That makes sense. <laughs> That's like a little friendly competition. He's one of us. Part of the European division. Seven? Wait, who is he? Wait, do, in Europe, do they believe in like a mouse that collects the teeth? Please tell me. This is the first I've I've heard of it. <laughs> Hello, <huh? laughs> okay. That's a trap for Santa. That's playing dirty. Collect teeth and leave gifts as fast as my fairies. You guys have been leaving gifts, right? Oh. <laughs> 
I forgot to, honestly. <laughs> That's such a hilarious gag, too. <laughs> Why aren't they going out? They're collecting the teeth. I mean, come on, you should have thought of that, honestly. It was always the part I liked most. Seeing the kids. Why did I ever stop doing this? Yeah, you shouldn't have. If you get so much out of it, out of being, you know, that hands-on engagement, she should keep doing it. All working together to make sure the rabbit gets last place. Oh, come on. <laughs> Competition. For David Wells. I win. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it the parents? Okay, it's the kid. That's fine. He can see us. Yeah, how come he can? Oh, oh, that's oh, dang! It is literal like that. Say, um, that's a greyhound. Do you know what greyhounds do to rabbits? Well, I think it's a pretty safe journey. <laughs> Six foot one, nerves of steel, master of tai chi. <laughs> master of tai chi. <laughs> Oh, wrong. Okay. <laughs> What's Jack gonna dream of? Is he gonna have like existential question marks above his head if he got hit? Can Sandy wake them up or are they gonna be out for a while now? This is bad. This is how they're gonna get divided and defeated. Oh, shoot. Don't walk away. Oh. All right, well, that's another problem they're gonna have to deal with eventually. This is a trap for Sandy, though. It has to be. And Jack's an experience, so he doesn't realize like how, how much danger they're in. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Freaking giant flying stingray. I got it! No, come on. Look at the lighting of this scene. It's definitely a trap. You know, for a new model, spend an awful lot of time with those weirdos. This isn't your fight, Jack. He's gonna try to recruit him to the dark side. Why do you care about the teeth? <gasps> now this is who I'm looking for. I mean, Sandy is doing pretty good. I thought he'd be weaker on his own. You can't blame me for trying, Sandy. You don't know what it's like to be weak and hated. I still feel like this is a trap. It has to be. That's with your dreams. So I'll tell you what. You can have them back. You take the ones on the left, I'll take the ones on you the right. You guys are way too outnumbered. Okay, we're back. We got the crew back. Come on. I'm on a dock. <laughs> All right, we got to help Sandy out. He's surrounded. No! I'd say sweet dreams, but there aren't any. Oh, dang. It's too late, Jack. It's too late. What is he doing? <sighs> Holy Jack, way to go. How did you do that? I didn't know I could. He doesn't even realize the extent of his powers. Finally! Someone who knows how to have a little fun. Oh, he's excited. He's like little sparring partner here. Is he dead dead? There's no way. There's no way. What, are kids just not going to be able to sleep for the rest of time? Or are they just not going to have good dreams, maybe? I, I just... Uh, I wish I could have done something. Done something? He did a, you did so well. Come on, you're new. You did incredible. I don't know who you were in your past life. But in this life, you are guardian. I'm so curious. I really want, I can't wait to see his memory. I hope we get to. Till I find out who I was. You will. I feel it. 
And in the meantime, like focus on who you are in the present. That's the most important thing. And honestly, like for your first time in the field, that was really well done. Pains me to say, old friend, this time Easter is. <laughs> that must have been very, very hard for you to say, Santa. My warrant, my rules. Buckle up. Shostakovich. <laughs> I mean, it's only fair. It's only fair after he had to ride in your sleigh, Santa. That looked like fun, honestly. What? This is not good. This is not good. <laughs> I love how she's she's not even scared. She's completely just having a great time here. Look at all the pretty teeth with little blood and gum on them. Uh <laughs> Yeah, that's that's not what a kid wants to see. Come on. To children, we don't have time <laughs> for children. <laughs> hey, maybe Jack can teach you guys a thing or two about you know forming those human connections. <laughs> See, Bun Bunny has a friendly side to him. It just you know it's underneath the surface. There will be. I mean, those are some pretty great colors for colored eggs. I do like it. Christmassy, right? Pine and blue. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Not bad yourself. Yeah, see, they just need a little time together to get that mutual respect. And this is another amazing location. Like, completely different aesthetic, but gorgeous. That's why we need you here with us. Trust me. I'll be quick as a bunny. Is something gonna go wrong here? Oh! Well, that's not tucking your in great. <laughs> that voice, I know that voice. Hold on, is it gonna be someone from his past life? Don't get distracted. What if this is a trap from Pitch? This could be a way to like lure you out by yourself. Yeah. Careful, please. Be on your guard. Be on your guard, man. Who the heck is it gonna be? Unless it's a trap. Looking for something? I'm not gonna hurt you. Afraid? I'm not afraid of you. That might be a mistake. That might be a mistake. Yours is that no one will ever believe in you. <laughs> He's literally swallowed up in darkness right when he says that. Be like this. Well, fear not. For the answer to that is right here. Don't trust it. What if he's lying? What if this is a false memory? I'm so curious what his backstory is. Afraid of what the guardians will think. They'll never accept you. Not really. Oh, come on. They were accepting him. But I love it. He's like that negative voice in your head. What you do? More to the point, Jack. What did you do? <laughs> wait, wait, what? Easter, Jack. What? There's no such thing as the Easter Bunny. What? Wait, what? Why can't they see him? What's going on? Where did you get that? I was... It's... Where... Just tell them the truth. Tell them the truth. I didn't mean for this to happen. He has to go. What? We should never have trusted you. He's so hurt. He's so hurt that Easter is like a failure now. Reed, you should be happy you still get dreams like that. You're not... Dang, they've been having like some Freddy Krueger dreams lately. It really is real. No fears. I like how his faith is like not shaken one bit. Like he he believes firmly. I mean, come on, I want you to look, even if it's not the smartest character decision, just for curiosity. I never really believed in you. To show you that. Oh, don't act like you're trying to help. Come on. You don't understand anything. No, I don't know what it's like to be cast out. That's what I'm saying. Like I feel like they actually can relate to each other's pain. You don't have to be alone, Jack. I believe in you, and I 
Don't tell me this is gonna work and convince him. At what we can do. What I mean, that is a pretty amazing. <laughs> that is a pretty amazing thing. Look at that. Everything is pitch black. And Jack Frost too. <laughs> you can work on the tagline. Both of us, and that's not what I want. Good. Then he looked hurt a little bit before he got angry. But first. Oh, don't you dare. Don't you dare. The staff, Jack! I'll hand it over, and I'll let her go. Can you trust him? Oh. All right. I like how the staff, like, goes dark the second he touches it. I'll let her go. No. Oh, come on. Come on. You said you wanted to be alone. Oh, don't give me that. That's what you deserve. Okay, tell me there's a way for him to, like, access his power internally and he doesn't need a staff. Oh. What the heck? Like, who is his family going to be? What are What could it be? The, the, I cannot get over how good this animation is. Look at me. Jack. No. I know, I know. We're gonna have a little fun instead. No, we're not. Would I trick you? Yes, you always play tricks. How do they get in this situation? One. Whoa. <laughs> Two. <laughs> He's so smart to like make it fun to like keep the child calm. Three. Well done. He's gonna fall in. He's gonna fall in himself. Yeah! This is where it all started, right? Good. For a second, I thought it was gonna be like a really tragic backstory and she was gonna die. He's gonna be too late. I had a family. I had a sister. I saved her. <laughs> where are they now, I wonder? Yeah, no way it's going to be that easy. Or maybe there is. I mean... Just like that? Really? What? Why was he even worried that it got broken? I mean, Pitch, talk about a gigantic mistake throwing the broken pieces down after him if it can just be rebuilt like that. You mean you're firing everybody? Only six left. Six precious children who still believe. Dang, down to six worldwide? That was fast. <laughs> One. Okay, we know who we need to protect right now. Anything at all. I knew it. Dang, don't let him lose his his belief. Can't you do something like Freeze his pillow or something that's out of the ordinary. Come on, that's clearly a sign. That's clearly a sign. Faith restored instantly. I like how how Jack is is more concerned with like restoring this kid's belief and hope and wonder than like being the one who gets the credit for it. Oh, maybe he is going to get credit for it, actually. Oh, he's going to see him now. He's going to see him. Come on. Jack Frost. It's like Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. That's what we need in this movie, Beetlejuice. You said my name. I mean, obviously, Jack. Obviously. You're real? In, in the snow days. It is great seeing how excited Jack is. Real, real. Every one of us is real. I knew it. Okay, now get this kid to safety before Pitch shows up. Who are you talking to? Um, Jack Frost. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, the truth can serve you. Wait, but where's Bunny? Losing Easter. 
took its toll on all of us. What happened to Bunny? <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's like when Puss in Boots is all fat in, uh, what was it, Shrek 3 or Shrek 4? He used to be huge and cool, and now he's cute. <laughs> Small and cute. <laughs> oh, actually, he told me you were real. Just when I started to think that maybe you weren't. Yeah, he stood up for you in a big way. Get Jamie out of here. Come on, let's be smart. Work together, everybody. Jack Frosty. <sighs> yeah, you're the one who threw the staff literally right back at him, smart guy. The visuals are so insanely cool. He's stronger. I can't beat him. Not on your own, you can't. Together, maybe. Oh, this fuss over one little boy, and still he refuses to stop believing. There are other ways to snuff out the night. If you want him, you're gonna have to go through me. Uh, I think he can go through you. How fluffy you are. He's like the Shadow Man from Princess and the Frog. I know, I know. But you're gonna be alright. We're gonna have a little fun. There you go. Believe in the book. Ah! Ah! <laughs> You were saying, Boogeyman? You were saying? Not so intimidating with a snowball in your face. Oh. <laughs> hey, Christmas can come any time of year. I will take a present from Santa. I mean, that is pretty intimidating. Who will protect you? I will. I will. I will. I will. It's like recruiting underage soldiers here, but okay. No, I'm just kidding. This thing as the boogeyman. I mean, these are some courageous kids seeing that charging towards you and not running away. Hold on, is Sandman back? Sandy? Yeah, you're all getting your strength back. Oh, nice. <laughs> Good eye, mate. <laughs> Little bit more of a threat. Wrong roof. <laughs> it's okay, Santa. He came up there with confidence. Come on, if you're crossing swords or weapons with Santa Claus, you know you've done something wrong in life. Okay, we got an Avengers shot there. Pitch. There's no place to hide. Now who's afraid? <laughs> oh, he's laughing. Maybe he's got this under control. It was Sandy. I was right. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Lights back on. I mean, talk about some epic dreams going on here. This is where Spielberg got inspiration, huh? You're the center? Well, it took a while. But I figured it out. And Santa always believed in you, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Poor pitch left out of all the fun. Will be army. <laughs> oh, oh, could there be anything more insulting? They just can't even see him. Leaving the party so soon? You didn't even say goodbye. <laughs> A quarter. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you deserve that. <laughs> they can't be my nightmares, I'm not afraid. Are they your own nightmares? Oh shoot. I'll turn it against you. That's a pretty horrifying fate. Oh, they have a little romance? I think there was a moment there. Don't make it official. <laughs> Jack Frost, for you are now 
and forevermore a guardian. And you earned your spot amongst them. <laughs> okay, that's pretty epic. I can't see you. Hey, hey, slow down, slow down. You tell me you stop believing in the moon when the sun comes up. Okay, well, do you stop believing in the sun when clouds block it out? <laughs> I really feel like Jack has the best human touch. Like, one-on-one -on -one interactions, he really is a natural comforting the children. Jack! My name is Jack Frost, and I'm a guardian. How do I know that? Because the moon told me so. <laughs> what a movie, man. All right, so that is Rise of the Guardians. Man, I was so, so impressed with this movie. I mean, how, how is, this has gotta be one of the most underrated animations ever. I have heard virtually nothing about this movie. I don't even know, I, I really don't even know when it came out, but let me just start with, uh, you know, the, the style of it, the visuals, the animation, the creativity. Like I kept, I think I made the same comment like five times in the reaction, but it's true. There were so many like, uh, sets, locations, and then visuals, and even some of the movement of the camera. I know it's not a real camera, but just some of the, the directing style to like convey the fight scenes or some of the powers were really, really good. Just like some top tier stuff. Like it reminds me of like good, good animations, like How to Train Your Dragon from DreamWorks. Very, very impressed with that. And then the story itself, you know, what a great collection of characters. I love the concept. What an, what an awesome concept concept like the guardians in life like santa claus and then the actual personifications the way they executed it that has got to be one of the best santa santa was probably my favorite character he was so awesome i mean come on there's got to be one of the best on-screen santa clauses ever of all time the easter bunny having him be australian with uh with a boomerang i mean come on the tooth fairy's design i've never seen any images of the tooth fairy like that i don't know if that's inspired from a certain art style or maybe i just you know i'm not up to date on my tooth fairy lore but i loved it that was so cool like it was like a almost bird like like a little hummingbird and the the types of bright colors were just awesome and then jack himself jack was awesome as a protagonist he really worked as kind of that outsider for the group but i especially liked his storyline of like not knowing where he came from and how that haunted him and then of course like his main growth like that desire to be seen and then i thought there were some really neat parallels with pitch i i actually wish there had been more emphasis on this in the story i wish this had been even further developed because i Think this is really fascinating but just the moment when pitch is talking to jack and he's trying to tell him like hey you think i don't know what it's like to be an outsider to want a family to want a group they're never going to accept you and i i i think part of that was pitch trying to manipulate jack but part of that was him speaking from the heart because there were a few looks on his face where he looked hurt when jack kind of rejected his offer um and i just i feel like there's a there was a nice duality like they both were kind of outsiders from a different past who weren't believed in they had that same goal it's just what you know pitch was willing to do anything selfishness extreme you know take over and rule with evil to get his selfish desires whereas jack found a better way but it's it's just cool how the hero and the villain both wanted the same thing and not just like a macguffin but they their soul, like what they craved deep down inside them was to be seen. And I, I think that just ties into a great thematic thing as well. Like how many people in life, one of the fundamental desires for virtually anyone is to be seen, is to be heard. You know, that's, you know, people say they desire love, but before you can have love, you have to be noticed for that to even be possible. So I thought that was a really cool, um, desire to have the protagonist and like carry throughout the movie and like i said to also reflect that in the antagonist that was really really well done um overall i, I just the movie felt so epic like it was funny i was laughing a lot throughout but it felt more than a lot of animated films i i i, I apologize for using the same comparison 
because there are different types of movies and I keep repeating it, but it's just the one that's coming to mind. It's reminding me of How to Train Your Dragon because that series is just animated movies where yes, they're fun, they're lighthearted, they're entertaining, but there's a lot of deeper, there's a real richness and adult maturity underneath it all that just gives it, you know, it's, it's one of my top ranked animation, you know, trilogy ever in my opinion and this is similar in that sense like i really feel like there are some deeper themes and ideas like the idea of the guardians who could be looked at as guardians as like holidays like the importance of holidays like what they do for people what spending time with people does and if you look at the guardians as like parents i like this i like how they were able to learn from jack with that you know they're so caught up with the holiday that they are forgetting like the human element on the ground like with the children one-on-one -on -one. like that can be a parallel to you know parents who get too caught up in like the holiday celebrations and forget to care about what it's all about which is love and connecting with your kids and with another generation and passing that on you know how many times in the holidays how many families are stressed out or get into fights during the holiday season and there's a real bitter irony in that when the holidays like what really matters about those times of the year those special moments is spending time together with family so that was a you know maybe that's me reading into it too much but i don't think so i really think the filmmakers and the writing behind this like they they did what i really like what they do in some really good animated movies which they didn't dwell on anything it wasn't overly heavy-handed they didn't beat you over the head over and over with the same message but if you want to look for something deeper if you want to take away a message that is somewhat profound if you want to see the symbolism behind the entertainment and the 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 um compelling story that's moving ahead at a good pace you can see that and i really appreciate that i thought that was just all throughout you know fear obviously the idea of taking on your fear the idea of you know uh, the lesson that the boogeyman is real you know they're you know just like fear is a real thing but that doesn't mean you can move forward in the face of fear you know you you can believe that fear is there you can feel fear you know, but it's really about you can move forward despite having that fear. That's just a cool thing. Um, and I feel like I'm forgetting things, but there were lots of things done throughout. And I also feel like the pacing of this movie was really, really good. It did not slow down. It was interesting start to finish. There were some clever twists and turns. They kept the, the jokes like coming at a very consistent rate. And I would say almost all of them landed. And yeah, I mean, I, heck, this is the, this is a movie I would love to see sequels of. The villain, I, I still know, I need mean, to look up the cast of this because the cast also did an excellent, excellent job. It stood out to me, like the, the voice actors in this movie. Heck, I am very, very happy that this was an animated movie that was next on the vote for Patreon because I thoroughly enjoyed that. I highly recommend this one to anyone who has not seen it. This has got to be one of the most underrated animations ever, in my opinion. Thank you to everyone for watching along. Hope you enjoyed this reaction. Action. Like I mentioned, if you want to see my full reaction to this, all my movies and shows are up on Patreon. Next week's animated reaction is up right now for early access. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more animated reactions. Thank you to everyone for watching, and as always, remember, be active, be mindful, and be a hero.